we'll have two Schlitz lights. He's everyone by jumping out to a quick 10 to nothing lead over interstate rival Cleveland. Rookie receiver Don Bass, 51-yard first quarter touchdown, was the only one of the game for the Bengals, who were hoping to quell rumbles of a coaching change. Their coach, Tiger Johnson, had no time to enjoy his team's early margin because of an angry and aroused Cleveland defense that physically manhandled the Bengals all afternoon. While the Browns' defense excelled, the attack had trouble putting points on the board. This 71-yard bomb from Brian Seif to Reggie Rucker was canceled by a penalty. It wasn't until late in the third quarter that the Browns' offense came alive with another long-distance strike from Seif to Rucker as the catalyst. Graceful Rucker's 41-yard catch and carry led to Cleveland's first points of the day. A field goal, and the very next time they had the ball, the sight to Rucker combo burned the Bengals again. Rucker virtually stealing the ball from Lewis Breeden for the touchdown that tied the game. Minutes later, the two arch rivals entered sudden death overtime. With everything going their way now, Cleveland won the coin toss. And on the opening kickoff, rookie running back Larry Collins, number 23, turned potential disaster into the play that decided the ball game. Allen's long return gave the Browns great field position, and Cleveland soon left the issue up to dependable Don Cockroft. The NFL's all-time leader in field goal accuracy did not disappoint, calmly kicking the winner that gave new coach Sam Ratigliano and his Browns an exciting second straight victory. <laughs> 